This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Today I am looking at this. This is the XP Pen Deco 01 V2. An affordable little drawing tablet from XP Pen that costs between $60 or $70 and gives you a lot of bang for the buck. Hello, my name is Brad. I review tech for creative professionals and today I am doing a quick video. A little unboxing first impressions of this little Deco tablet. If you want to see other tablets like this that I have reviewed, I have a list of them over on my website, bradcowboy.com. And this time of year, a lot of products like this kind of slip through the cracks because I'm reviewing new iPads and phones and things like that. But I wanted to cover this because it's affordable and it's a nice little tablet, but I don't have time to do a full review, but I wanted to talk about it anyway. So here we have the box of the Deco One V2. I'm just going to slide off this cover. Nice little design cover. It's designed to look like an X while it's sitting on top of this nice blue box here. Just a simple blue box opens up this way and we have our little mascot greeting us. How am I going to get this out? I got to just pull on the plastic a little bit. So this is the device itself right here. It appears that it comes with a, a screen protector. We're going to take a look at that in a minute. What else comes in the box? We have uh, this little donut, which is not actually shaped like a donut. This is a little square thing. Let's get it open. I'm trying not to rip it, but I guess I'm going to have to rip it. And basically what this is, is a stand for your pen. I'm going to set that down really not carefully at all. We have the pen itself, uh, so we can stick that in there just like that. Or we can put it in sideways, so if you prefer to have your pen sitting there like that, probably looks better on camera that way. We have all of the connections we need in this little bag. Let's go ahead and open this up and I can show you everything that comes in here. Oh no, I see a drawing glove. Oh no. So first off, we have our cable. This is USB-C, which will plug into the tablet itself. Uh, USB-C to USB-A, uh, so that is just a standard USB thing. We have our, our warranty, our little, yeah, that's another warranty thing. A lot of extra nibs in here, whoo, little, little baggy of nibs, so don't lose those. That was something I was going to look into. And then we have some adapters, so this is a USB-C to USB-A, and they actually give you two of these adapters, which is... These come in handy if you get a newer computer that doesn't have the old USB-C connectors. And then of course, what else do we have in the bag? Uh, we have our quick guide, which is going to tell us how we are gonna get set up. This also works with Android devices, which I'll be checking out in a minute here. Uh, so it has the description there, obviously. And uh, I thank you for supporting card and then just a quick start guide. And this is going to just kind of explain how the tablet works in various languages so you can get it set up and working. So let's take a look at the tablet itself. All right, so let's bring this into the picture. I'm gonna set those aside for now. Let's get this out of the bag. First thing I notice is how incredibly light this is. This is like weighs almost nothing. Also these bags, oh my gosh, they're easier to rip than they are to get the, the sticky glue off. Come on, you could do it. You could do it. This is mesmerizing unboxing stuff. I'm just going to rip it off. Sorry. And there we go. And we have our please remove to protect before using. So let's go ahead and pull that off. There we go. Now, as expected, what we have here is a nice textured surface. And what's kind of cool here is this textured surface isn't just in the drawing area, and the drawing area is kind of marked by these little white, you know, side markers here, but this kind of spreads the whole thing, gives it a nice, elegant look. This is better than I thought it would be. Got a little textured section over here. These are gonna be our shortcut buttons. There's like a little line on this one and a little dot on this one. So if you're looking ahead towards your screen and you're just trying to feel your way, it does give you like a little indicator so you know which button your hand is on, which is kind of handy. Let's see if we can find the connector. Yeah, there is our USB-C port along the back was just a large plastic back and then over here we have some rubber feet uh, which is going to be handy when it's sitting on your desk you don't want it sliding around while you are drawing so let's let's take this pen for a test ride here 
Okay, that feels good. That's one thing that these tablets can do that a lot of screen tablets can't do, is they can give you a slightly better texture. A screen tablet can't do that because, I mean, it does give you some texture, like that matte texture, but it never quite feels as good as these because that texture you actually have to be able to see through, so they can't texture it too much or else you, you lose some of the blacks and you lose some of the contrast and colors on the screen. And after drawing on it a little bit, let me apply a little more pressure. Oh, that's cool. The other thing I like to look for when I'm drawing on one of these is does it scratch up? And after drawing pretty heavily, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing any scratches. So this is this is good material. Now if you are worried about that, there are some options for you here. It comes with this screen protector. And let me open this up because this might provide us again with this super sticky ah, tape. This might provide us with a uh, a rougher surface so if you want even more texture yeah i think that's exactly what's going to happen you can line it up you can peel it off and it gives you another texture or oh that is even rougher wow how about that i'm gonna draw on this really quick oh that's rough yeah i think i prefer what's actually on there but it's good to know that they're giving you that option so one thing that I did miss when I was unboxing is at the bottom of this, this twists, and I think you can uh, somehow twist it open. I think I've just twisted it tight. Uh, but this thing actually opens up, oh my goodness. There we go, I got it open. If you open it up, if you wanted to, you could place your extra nibs in here so that they weren't in that little plastic thing anymore and they'd be really handy to keep here. I wanna thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. You already know that Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a professional website, online store, or portfolio, but you can do so much more. Once your site is set up, you can grow and engage your audience with Squarespace's email campaigns. Create powerful email content that matches your website with your existing products, blog posts, and logo so that your messaging is consistent and effective. Schedule messages, manage your email list, and even set up automations all within Squarespace's easy to use interface. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Brad Colbo to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain. Now one of the cool things about this that I wanted to touch on a little bit is that yes, you can plug this into some Android phones and some Android tablets and use this as a drawing tablet. And so you can get really light lines, you can get really heavy lines, you get that pen pressure and some of the other features. I wanted to test this out with a couple of apps and just kind of show you what you could expect from this Android experience. So this is Infinity Painter. What else do I have on here? Let's go ahead and check out Autodesk Sketchbook. I feel that all of these work pretty well. I'm not getting the pen pressure quite as much in Autodesk. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a different pen here and maybe I can feel the pressure a little bit more. Light lines, yeah, so pen pressure is working great. An Autodesk Sketchbook. You know, line quality looks just as good as it does on the desktop, so that's pretty cool. One thing you will notice is you do have to point your tablet in the orientation that your phone is in. I'm gonna jump over to a, another app here so we can play around a little bit with some different brushes. So this app is called Artflow, works pretty well. Light pen pressure, heavy pen pressure. Now something that I find is it's probably gonna depend on your phone or tablet, but the orientation is a little wonky. Like if I try to draw a perfect circle and I don't look at my phone, I just look at my tablet, I can tell that circle is being stretched out because I think my phone is longer than this. The proportions are a little bit off. And unlike using this on a PC, you can't, there's no settings app. So you can't go in and modify anything. It's what you see is what you get. So if this fits the orientation of your tablet or phone perfectly, you're good to go. Everything's gonna work great. If not, you're gonna have to kind of draw more oval shapes if you want to get like a perfect circle, or if you wanna draw a square, you're gonna have to go a little bit wider than you would think you have to. The other thing to be aware of is that the shortcut keys I, I want to say they don't work but I have pressed them in some apps and various things happen as you can see I'm pressing it here and I'm getting things happening I'm not sure why 
As you can see, I accidentally turned on the voice assistant. I don't know how to turn it off. This is one of those frustrating things where all they really give you to go on is how to plug this into the tablet. It doesn't give you, you know, a really good description as to how this actually works. So I think the Android stuff is cool. I think it's a cool idea, but for the most part, a lot of this stuff is just gonna be trial and error. All right, so here we have the tablet. It is all hooked up and it is all working. And one thing you will notice if you use any XP pen device is the drivers look the same and more or less work the same. Uh, on this screen, we can come in here and we can set up the buttons on our pen over here. We could do all sorts of other things like we could actually flip this around. Uh, if I tap and hold, you're gonna see my pressure curve depending on how hard I press on the pen tip. So you can see all 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity, how hard you have to press in order to get all of that pressure. Our pressure curve over here, if this was a monitor tablet, which it's not, you would see your which monitor this is attached to. Um, we can change the offset and things like that. So if you don't wanna draw on the sides, you could come in here and do that sort of thing. Uh, the tablet area is very similar. Uh, we could come in here and shrink it down and then I would only be drawing on certain parts. I don't want that. I think I've messed up everything. Hold on, can I fix it? Okay, I fixed it. Express keys are probably the most important thing to me. You can go into each and every one of these express keys, which are labeled here, and I have these top two set to brush size and then zoom and undo and, and that sort of thing, which is all I really need it for. And then there's an about screen, which just tells you which version of this that you're using. So I'm gonna go to my layer and I already have my document set up. I'm going to use my zoom keys to zoom in and I'm just going to check my pressure here on my brush and it's looking pretty good. The other thing I am noticing here is that overall, this is a very smooth feeling pen. I'm not getting a lot of jitter on this pen or anything like that overall feels exactly the way I would expect it to. But that is not good enough, so let's go ahead and test this thing out. I'm gonna do slow angled lines, and I'm detecting a tiny bit of jitter, but that could also be my hand. But what this is gonna tell me is how smooth these lines are. I do wanna know if these lines are because of my hand shaking, which is entirely possible, or whether it's because of it's the pen. So I like to put down a straight line and just come in here and this is looking crazy smooth. That looks really good. I can detect a tiny bit of jitter on that, but this is well within the acceptable range. In fact, this is this is looking much better than I thought it would. The other thing that I like to test on here are uh, quick dashed lines just to see how these perform, how the taper works. Um, you see, occasionally it'll lose the signal. That's what happened on this one. That's why you got a straight line and then an angle. The other thing that's happening on many of these is these faster lines is you're getting a tiny bit of shoestringing. So if you do these really fast hatch lines, um, sometimes the taper isn't exactly as accurate as you want it to be. But just using this pen for the little bit that I have played with it, I feel like it's holding pressure well. And overall for the price of this tablet and what you're getting is pretty good. Now it's fun to do these pen tests, but you really can't get a feel for a tablet until you actually start drawing on it. So let's grab a, uh, like a pencil brush type thing and let's come in here. And I also wanna point out, I am absolutely horrible at drawing on this sort of thing. I'm so used to drawing directly on a screen. And this is something that does take a little bit of time to get used to, especially if you're used to drawing on paper or drawing on a screen tablet. Coming to something like this, where you're drawing down here, but you're looking forward, uh, trying to figure out, hey, where's that pen gonna land? It could take a little bit of time, and it's something that definitely takes getting used to. I'm better at this than I used to be, but I'm still much better, you know, when I'm looking at a screen, because usually I'm drawing on, you know, a Wacom tablet or an iPad or something like that. But overall, I'm feeling pretty good about this. This this looks kind of the way I want it to. I do have my undo button here, so if I'm like, ah, I don't like the way that looked, I can always undo it and come down here. But for sketching, I feel like I'm getting the accuracy I'm looking for. And once you do get used to this, it can be a you know, very nice drawing tablet here. So those are my impressions of the XP Pen Deco 01 V2. 
I would say that I've used Wacom stuff. I've used Huion stuff. This is on par with what Huion has right now. I like the size of this. I like the price of this. This is still significantly cheaper than what Wacom has. When you look at what Wacom has, though, I feel like the pen is better. I've said this on a lot of XP pen reviews. Still holds true here. But when we're talking about just a tiny bit of line wobble and that sort of thing, I don't think it's that big a deal for the amount of money that you're saving. For $60, you are getting a fantastic little product. So what do you think? Let me know down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you in a couple of days.